Hey everybody, Pastor Jim here from the Indian Lake Community Church in the Lighthouse of Indian Lake. Hoping this finds you safe, happy, and well for this midweek message. It's been uh, a busy couple weeks here at the church. We've had uh, a ton of stuff going on and uh, just trying to keep up with things. And uh, in times like that, uh, you get this mindset, or at least I do, that I'm just, you know, I am so busy. And and uh, when I get that way, you start to get a little stressed and, and you're thinking about all these things you have to do and et cetera, et cetera. And uh, sometimes you have to let some things go because you just don't have time to do it all. Uh, and, and the easiest things to let go are, you know, boy, I just don't, I don't have time to exercise. I'm busy. <laughs> and so, you know, it's amazing how easy it is to say exercise, you know, chuck that out the window. I'm busy. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, one of the things that I let go sometimes when I get so overwhelmed and busy is, is I don't set time aside to read my Bible. I admit that's that's something that happens from time to time and it's a terrible thing to do because when we're busy and when we're stressed is when we need it the most and, and it's the same way with exercise when you're busy and stressed and you, and you got all this going on you know the exercise does you good but it's the easiest thing to just say yeah i don't have time for that and and as far as me saying that the exercise actually makes you feel better um, I, I'm hoping my wife isn't watching this because she will remind me of that. I guarantee you. <laughs> and so, uh, but yeah, you say, I don't have time for exercise. I don't have time to do my Bible reading. I don't have time, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I read a long time ago, uh, that it's, it's change your language. Language is important. So instead of saying, I don't have time to exercise, I don't have time to read the scriptures. You change that around and you, and you say this, because this is true. I did not make it a priority to exercise. I did not make it a priority to read the scripture. And then you start to rethink it. Because if I say I don't have time, then I just, I'm so busy, I don't have time. Uh, but if I say I didn't make it a priority to do something, then what I'm saying is the truth. And that is this, I made choices. I made choices and this wasn't one of them. And so that really makes you think. So if I am honest, and I said for the last few days, I made a choice not to read the scripture to pray and meditate the way that I should because I had so much to do. Uh, because, you know, basically what I'm saying is I made the choice to do other things instead. I cannot say that in the last couple of days, I didn't waste more time than I would have spent had I actually been in the word or, or even exercise for that matter. Uh, did I spend time, you know, on my phone? Did I spend time uh, watching TV? Did I spend time, you know, whatever? Yes. And so what I'm saying is I made it a priority to do those things over reading the word of God. And that just kind of, oh man, <laughs> you should, shouldn't do that. And, and so uh, today I decided, hey, I'm in the office. I got time. I, I, I set aside a block of time. Let's get caught up on the daily readings. Let's get caught up on your prayer and your meditation and, and get things on the right kilter here. And so this is important to get back into the right mindset. And so I did. And I set the time aside. And then I went through and I and I read uh, the three days of scripture, uh, the Psalms and, and the Old Testament and the New New Testament, the epistles, the letters, the writings. And then I did the gospel. And um, it was powerful because there was one passage in particular. There were several that really spoke to me today. But there was one in particular that I, I prayed over and spent time on and thought about and did all these things. And then, um, you know, I just felt really good. And And then when that time was done... And I decided, okay, it's time to get on with my day because now I have the right mindset to prioritize and think and plan and do these things uh, according to God's will. And so I got my calendar out, which is the same calendar which has all my lectionary readings. And as I'm looking at the calendar, that was when I realized I read the wrong three days. And so I read three days in the future somehow, I don't know, which basically, you know what that means? Yeah, I'm still three days behind and I've got, I now have to catch up those three days because that's how my week has been. And so, but I'm not, I, I don't feel bad about it because uh, here's why. I'm going to go back and spend more time in the Word, which, you know, can't go wrong there. But also there was something that stuck out to me today because uh, when I get tired, when I get busy, when I get stressed, you know, I start to, to uh, uh, not take care of myself, as I've said. But I also don't always think positively because, you know, I let those things kind of weigh on me. And, and so uh, sometimes you need an adjustment. Sometimes you need a reminder, you know, and, and you need to think about uh, what's important in life. And you, and you need to think about who we are and whose we are. And sometimes rather than, you know, a, a big important lesson or sermon or those kinds of things, you just really needed to be reminded of something simple. 
And there is nothing more simple or basic about the Christian faith that I can tell you than this. God loves you. There you go. There is nothing more you need to know on this day than that piece of information and then think about it and dwell on it. God loves you. Because the, one of the scriptures I read from the book of Romans in the fifth chapter, beginning in verse six, you see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And, and so basically what that means is, long before we ever made a decision to follow God, long before we ever made a decision to turn to God, God loved us. And so if God loved us before we ever turned to him, then in this time where we have turned to him and where we have given ourselves to him, and yet times when we fall short, and yet times when we start to feel bad about ourselves, or in those times where we don't feel that we are worthy to be loved by God, you do a reset and you come back to this and you say, wait a minute, God loved us. He sent his son to die for us while we were still sinners. So whatever state we're in, God still loves us. What, whatever time in life we're in, whatever position we're in, what mistakes we've made, if, if God sent his son to die for us while we were still sinners and while we were unworthy and all of these things, what, whatever situation that we're in right now, he still loves you and he always will. There is nothing that you can do to separate yourself from the love of God. You just can't. So I don't know who needs to hear this today, but maybe this wasn't an accident that I read this today. Maybe this was just meant to be. Maybe this was the spirit that moved because I want to leave you this, just this one thought. It's not a big, uh, important theological lesson. This is nothing that I put together that's just this, you know, this great lesson or teaching or all these kinds of things. It is just a simple reminder, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you got going on, no matter where you've been or what you've done, God loves you. He always has. He always will. Start from there. Work on that. All right? Anyways, it's great talking to you. Hope to see you all soon. Take care. God bless. I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch and listen to this video, and I hope you found some words of encouragement or hope to help you in your walk this week. If you'd like to find out more information about us and our ministry, you can look at one of our uh, Facebook pages. We have one for the Lighthouse at Indian Lake. There's also a Facebook page for the Indian Lake Community Church. If you'd like more detailed information, for example, our location and our times of worship, if you'd like to join us for worship in person, we would love to have you. Or if you want information about how you can join us for worship online, you can visit our websites at www.lighthouse at indianlake.org or www.indianlakecommunitychurch.org. There you'll find information about our in-person worship times or how you can watch us online through the website or through Facebook or through YouTube. Also on there, you'll find out uh, more about who we are and our mission to the Indian Lake community and beyond. And if you'd like to support us through your time and your talent or the giving of your possessions financially, you'll find information how to do so on those sites also. Thanks for listening in. God bless you, and we hope to see you soon.